hand reaches above the shoulder area, right? So you're, you're right above the shoulder right here and, and definitely right here. When it reaches above the shoulder area, it's a lot more difficult to maintain your trunk's posture, which is neutral like you are here, for a long duration of time. And it's not necessarily a long duration, right? You have, let's count it, all right? From, and what I'm looking at right now is from this frame, shot at probably 60 frames per second, and how many clicks it takes for your front foot to get anchored into the ground, right? So your hands above the shoulder for sure here. Now from this position, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Five or six frames. Um, before you're anchoring it into the ground. So for me, that move of, of having your hand come up early, essentially throughout like the drive phase, is going to then influence your trunk wanting to then initiate rotation early, right? So again, just to give you the goal, when we anchor into the ground, when our front foot, excuse me, um, anchors in and, and our front leg takes on force, you usually can see like the lead foot or uh, the, sorry, the lead calf like contract, right? You'll see like a, a little bulge of muscle. Um, so at that point, we want, and this is the goal, this is not saying that you should be there. I've worked with plenty of guys, um, you know, younger and older than you that don't do this. It's a difficult move to obtain because our body sometimes tells us that we want to start rotation. But the goal is to, at anchor point, create stretch rotational energy same i talked about your brother with this um so we do that by having our trunk remain in a neutral position right so like how you started like you are here and then our hips into rotation like they are kind of right here and as you can see on the left when we get you down right there they are already moving together Get him into his leg lift. Now descending from leg lift, he does a great job with his hand hand separation at that time in which his leg descends. And now you're going to see he's actually somebody that does have his hand come up a little bit earlier in, in relation to his front foot. But you can see the way that he now counter rotates, right? So if this is rotation of the trunk, the way he counter rotates his trunk when he does separate his hands, and you can see the glove side kind of going with it and extending forward, that's going to buy his time. It's going to buy his trunk more time now to, to rotate. All right, so now the hand comes up. Now watch the front foot. Boom, anchors. He's already started his rotation, obviously, right? But now notice how his hips, just by noticing the back foot position, are well into rotation and his trunk is neutral, right? And now, just to give you this, this context in terms of, uh, of what this accomplishes in the delivery, if we get here and our, and our front our front foot's down and, and we've, we've anchored into the ground and we can get here and we can create all this stretch, hip shoulder separation. All right. Now what we get to accomplish after that, even though this is a changeup is we capture rotational energy, right? So this hip shoulder separation is, is creating rotational energy. And now we get to capture that with our arm action when our hips complete rotation which is gonna then pull the trunk into rotation. Now the trunk gets pulled into rotation here, and that's gonna pull the arm through. And notice the wordage I'm using, pull the arm through. That's gonna pull the arm through, the lat, the pec, the shoulder, these big muscle groups that wanna be now leveraging the arm. And, and our hand position is gonna allow us to capture this. Now the arm goes into or the elbow spiral, and now all of this arm speed which is not generated by just the arm independently, is generated by, by leverage and, and putting this arm into a position to capture this rotational energy, and the trunk now pulling and then getting into, um, getting almost pulled to his glove side, right? So instead of the glove pulling inward, the trunk is actually going to get the glove, which is then gonna help aid in the acceleration aspect of the arm. And now that's gonna pull his trunk into this posture, which is well over the lead knee. This is what I call late launch, right? We want extension, we want shoulder extension. If we were to see directly from behind, or not behind, but from the open side, we'd wanna see the throwing shoulder in front of the glove side shoulder, 
which is a testament to that segmentation, that sequencing of creating separation, creating segmentation, right? Anchoring down and pulling arm through the zone. And now the arm spiral or the arm finishes, decels, leg stays into extension and the, the lead leg, you can see blocks. Now, again, you're 17, man. I don't expect you to like completely grasp all this, nor do I expect you to move like this. But what is the goal, right? We're trying to just inch our way closer to the goal each and every day. So you can see hand comes up, glove side extends initially, which I love. Like here you're good. Like this is a good spot. You're in a good spot right here on the right. All right, let's get you there on the left. Okay, you're in a, you're in a good spot here. Now what happens is throwing hand comes up even more and the glove side's gonna pull, the trunk's gonna start rotating. Hips haven't really rotated all that much, right? In relation to where your trunk is and they start rotating at the same time. And that's our difficulty. If they rotate at the same time, we don't really create a whole lot of rotational energy. And if we don't create a lot of rotational energy, then we have to generate, we have to try to generate more energy by the arm. Now, the thing is, dude, like you have a strong arm, like you get a lot of layback. All right. Um, but you're not getting a whole lot of like that, that torque, that rotation, um, which is then going to lead you into, you know, not getting full extension. Your chest is behind the lead knee. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.